after reaching an old age, while most cosmic objects die by fragmentation and ejection, some may end their life by violent explosions. These explosions may occur in both younger and older objects in all cosmic scales. Human beings have observed such explosions a few times during the last thousand years. Chinese was the first to record such explosion in 1054, when a blazing star appeared in the sky, and remained as luminous as full moon for 23 days, before fading away from the evening sky within a year. Today, we know that this blaze had risen from the catastrophic death of a star. The remnants of this explosion is one of the most studied objects in the sky, known as Crab Nebula. Since that explosion, there were records of two more such blazing stars in our galaxy, one in 1572, known as Tycho Supernova, and the other in 1604, called Kepler Supernova, before the last such explosion of star was observed in 1987. The cosmic structures explode by tearing off the shells, which surround the central object. The shells grow and evolve, as a frettle knot, which I have explained in other videos, presented in the website www.newuniverse.cosmology.in. In younger objects, the explosions result from the failure of the system to establish a stable frettle structure, which embeds self-similar knot, in smaller and smaller hierarchically embedded scales. The excessive outpouring of plasma from the center, which fall in imbalance with the matter streaming towards the center, to replenish the burning gases, result in the tearing of the shells in two halves. In older structures, which have evolved by following the universal process, discussed before in another video, the explosions occur by injections of structures from two opposite ends of the main outpouring mouths. The stellar explosions occur in all galaxies. It is quite common to observe exploding stars in galaxies. Depending on occurrences in younger or older stars, they are classified as type 1 and type 2 supernovae. Type 2 are often seen to occur in stars forming in gas-rich spiral arms. The type 1 occurs in stars hovering around the galaxy core. Until about 20 years ago, supernovae dominated the study of cosmic explosions. With the launching of the gamma-ray satellites in the early 1990s, a new class of explosions were discovered. They came to be known as gamma-ray bursts. Such explosions poured out huge amount of energies, mostly in gamma rays. Unlike supernovae, they were optically difficult to observe. When optical counterparts of gamma-ray bursts were detected, they were seen to occur in cosmic objects moving at high speed, outside our galaxy. They occurred mostly seen in association with dwarf blue galaxies, undergoing a very high rate of star formation. These days gamma-ray bursts are explained as hypernovae, resulting from the explosion of supermassive stars. The origin of the high shift blue galaxies, where majority of such bursts occur, has a different explanation in Big Bang cosmology than the mechanism driven by a fractal universe, which I support. As I have talked about in the video about the birth of cosmic structures, the blue dwarf galaxies are ejections from massive galaxies, during the process of undergoing evolution of these galaxies from spiral to elliptical stage. These ejected dwarf structures, in turn, as they evolve, create further ejections of even smaller cosmic bodies, like in a cascade. In each stage of cascade, similar mechanism of growth and evolution take hold and try to bring the evolution of structures in a destined path. In cases, when this process fails, the objects explode by tearing off the shells, or adjust course of evolution by ejecting material from the center. The gamma-ray bursts are caused by such phenomena, occurring in cosmic objects larger than the stars. They are often associated in the surroundings of quasars, blazers and BLAC objects, which are cosmic bodies violently varying in their high energy outputs, indicating very unstable systems, which may fail to follow the course, destined by the fractal design of the universe. As Halton Up has been arguing since 1960s, quasars are ejections from the core of the Seifert galaxies. Similarly, the quasars may also eject structures from its core. During this process some structures may explode and become intense gamma-ray burst, occurring at high shift. The explosions may also occur in galactic scale. 
One such example is Cygnus, which outpour huge energies in high energies. Outpour huge energies.